The right hand tunnel with its immaculate Victorian brickwork leads on past the engine room further into the mountain in pursuit of the lead-rich Freyfold vein. One imagines the Victorian miners might have walked this way and turned left to access cages which would have lowered them to levels below. One cage is clearly still visible and a second must remain below in the flooded shaft. Most of the paraphernalia of the winch still remains the cages, the cables, the pipework and the drum itself. The pipework was used to feed compressed air from the surface to drive drilling equipment and the winch itself. It is the only compressed air system anywhere which is known to survive. This is Crackpot Cave in Swaledale. It's a very popular cave not only with recreational cavers but also with scouts and other outdoor groups. There's about five minutes of very straightforward crawling and then that pops you out in a really fine bit of stream passage. Um, it runs for a couple of hundred metres and is very well decorated indeed. A couple of months ago the CNCC received the news that uh, quite a lot of the stall in the main streamway was uh, quite badly splattered with mud. We've come through the entrance halls and joined the main streamway and we've come about 100 metres upstream from there into this rather splendid chamber. Yeah, there's a big, big splodge here which we're trying, we're trying to get this off. You can see that's clearly not, not natural, can't no, you? No, you can, yeah. The underground world is full of adventure and excitement and a caving experience can be incredibly rewarding. The sights awaiting to greet the intrepid explorer are like nothing seen in everyday life. Beautifully sculptured rocks carved out by subterranean rivers and waterfalls, delicate stalactites clinging to the cave roof and amazing stalagmite formations adorning the floor. But these sights are not for the timorous or faint-hearted. To witness them, cavers may need to twist and squeeze, climb up and down, stoop and crawl, traverse along narrow ledges and wade through water or swim. But all of this makes the achievement much more gratifying. The scouting movement would not be fulfilling its remit if these sights and experiences were not offered to young people. Beneath the castle lies a labyrinth of secret galleries, dangerous and rarely visited. Adorned with medieval writings and art, join us. Hey, I'm up at the Craven Winch meet. I met some bloke on the walk up here who's kindly brought cake for everyone. Lemon sponge. Mm -mm. Anyway, he's come to check out the situation. I thought it was very important to uh, come up and, and see for myself the, the, the seriousness of the situation here. In, in Gaping Gill. It, it is that there is a, still a substantial risk. And that's why I really wanted to congratulate the Craven Pothole Club. Because this is a major uh, problem. Uh, if that dam goes, you know the potential destruction that that can wreak on the gaping gill. So that's why it's so important everybody listens to the Craven Pothole Club and make sure they don't go back to the gaping gill until they get the go ahead. It's looking dodgy but stable, is how I would describe it. I mean, they've done an amazing job.
short film that you've just watched is just a small part of the vast amount of footage that's been shot over the last six years by the Otter Hole Cave project team. The equipment yeah. for filming has changed dramatically since the project started. And here we see a remote control camera carriage with two cameras and a light. Running over an area of formations in the Hall of Thirty. Thank you.